Hello, everyone. This is Glenda with Braylon's and Friends. You're going to have to get used to seeing me in these glasses because one, I like them, and two, they fit better. So, tonight, I'm going to question and answer myself. <laughs> it's going to be about Christmas gifts. Good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> Oh, not all. But anyway, weird. All kinds of stuff. So, we'll see you in a minute. First, I have been so busy today. So, so, so busy. I painted this. Let's see. I painted those, just that one side, to that point. I still need to do the veining and and outlining, but otherwise. The other side, I haven't started yet. <laughs> I've painted a white on the other side. So that'll make, once I get them done, and I think I've got two to finish, just the outlining and stuff on. In this group, that'll give me 18 so far. And I made another cap, and I've realized I'm going to have to find the two men with the biggest heads. <laughs> I'm going to a smaller crochet hook. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I just, I, I do it big. Anyway, I've got reports tonight. Okay, Glenda. <laughs> it's fun to interview yourself, but I'm going to do it anyway. Weirdest gift I got as a kid. A unicycle. And that was not me in that picture. <laughs> we were going through, Sears used to put out their annual toy catalog. And mom would sit us down around the sofa which we had to take turns getting around her or sitting near because six of us and she'd say okay I want to go through here and you show me what you want for Christmas I was being so silly I just I had a very silly day and I thought okay I'm just going to point to weird stuff and so one of the weird things I pointed to was a unicycle <laughs> guess what I got for Christmas oh, I got a unicycle Never did learn how to ride that thing, <laughs> but we had fun. It came with, excuse me, two balancing poles. And even with that, I couldn't stay up on top of the thing. Ah. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. And I guess my little sister, after I left home, because she was really small when I left home, I guess she did learn to ride it a little bit. The best gift I ever got as a child. That was it. A horse. I got my own horse. And I didn't I didn't name him exactly. What we did was everybody put their their particular choice of a name in a hat. Because everybody wanted to participate. So it was like, okay. And mom's favorite came out and it was topper. So I had a topper for the rest of my growing up years at home. And I loved him. I loved that horse. He had a stubborn streak, but hey, I could get him to do stuff. Oh, a gift that others thought was the most odd that I ever asked or got. This was as an adult. I asked Joe for a stepladder. And my friends were all like, why would you ask for a stepladder? Why didn't you ask for something cool? And it's like, to me, that's cool because I'm short. I can't reach my top cupboards. <laughs> so if I wanted anything out of those top cupboards, I needed a ladder. <laughs> so yeah. I needed and wanted a stepladder, and I got it. I got some nice stuff, too. He's bought me things like 
a pearl choker and nice clothes. I swear he picks a style better than I do. Uh, he's, he's bought me a lot of really cool stuff. Okay, next. <laughs> The worst gift I have given. Oh, there's been so many. Making things in the wrong size or buying things in the wrong size. Ugh. Things they already had or they didn't really exactly want, but they pretended that they did. So now we give money. <laughs> I do give gifts to little ones, but they like getting their money. <laughs> the best homemade gift I've ever given. We had, when we get together down with mom and dad and everybody, we got to the point where the family was too big to just buy everybody something. So everybody would bring one male gift and one female gift, or one that would work for either. Uh, but you needed one for each person. And I made two very big winter scarves. And, you know, like you're, a lot of them put them around. These were so big that, well, it wasn't quite as big as my deal, as my thing that I put around me out there, but they were big. And my, brother-in-law my sister told me this well I saw him because you were supposed to be able to steal <laughs> when he opened that up he sneaked it around into the kitchen he was standing in the kitchen door and he sneaked it around and put it on the counter right there and said, I'm not giving that up <laughs> and my sister told me once that he would put that on under his cap and around his neck and stuff and zip his coat up or you know get his coat up around it and he loved it that way so you know men don't like to admit that but <laughs> hey you know what whatever keeps you warm in the winter especially if you're out doing chores like he was so <laughs> I am trying to think I mean, my kids have gotten me some of the best ever gifts. One year, I can't remember if it was for Christmas, but one year they got me a big rope of pearls. Well, not a rope. It was, you know, it was a necklace, but it was a fairly good, fairly long one. And because I have an allergy to... A lot of metals especially if they have a nickel alloy in them which a lot of them do so they will you know my skin will break down and this this these pearls are just beautiful so there's that and there's things like if I can wear it under a collar or something but I don't generally wear chains so that's why I don't wear earrings anymore <laughs> Because last time I, last time I had earrings in, I think I was going for plastic studs to try it, you know, and they did still get. It wasn't because of the plastic, but they just my ears just don't like them, and I've had my ears pierced two different times, and I just never did get much luck with it. So, <laughs> and so interview yourself right now, and in the comments. Answer one of these questions, at least one. The weirdest gift you ever got, the best gift you got as a child, a gift that some thought was weird but you loved it, the worst gift you've ever given, <laughs> or the best homemade gift or gift that you've ever given. And have some fun with that. I mean, just Go for it and have a blast. <laughs> and we will see you Friday. I love you all. Good night.
and I am going to sleep tonight. I can tell you that. <laughs> wow, it's been, I haven't kept this busy for the last two days. I have, been, I have kept myself so busy. It feels wonderful. My hands have been busy, but oh, am I tired. And that's a good tired. Love you. Don't forget, mask, hand washing and sanitizing, social distance, safe, safe distancing. Be careful. <laughs> See you Friday. I love you. If I'm a little bonkers, it's because I'm tired. Good night.